Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is dedicated to the moon and how it is turning like a clock or doing cartwheels. What I have here is two pictures that were that I took four hours apart. They are time stamped with the date uh, from 8 p.m. till uh, 1221. So, but first, you must understand how the moon should properly look from our perception here on Earth. And I'm going to start you out with a video. We know that the moon orbits the Earth. So, in this model, I'm going to get the moon, the foam ball, to orbit the Earth in my head. Notice that no matter where the moon is in its orbit, half of it is always lit up by the sun. But when the moon is in this position, I can't see any of the lighted side of the moon from Earth, my head. From this angle, you can see what I am seeing from Earth. We call this new moon. When it's new moon, we look up at the sky and we can't see the moon. It's there, but the side that's reflecting sunlight is away from us. Now, as I slowly make the moon orbit to my left, I can begin to see a tiny sliver of that light inside. Now pay attention, right here, this is the terminator line. It's the line that separates the light and the dark. And you will see that it stays vertical. We call that a crescent moon. As the moon keeps orbiting, we can see more and more of that lighted side. We see half of the lighted half, which is a quarter moon. In this case, a first quarter moon. As we keep orbiting, we see almost the whole lighted side. We call that a gibbous moon. Then, when we can see the entire lighted half of the moon, that's a full moon. As the moon continues in its orbit, we begin to see less and less of that lighted side. We're back to a gibbous moon, but this time the light is on the opposite side. Then another quarter moon, last quarter moon to be exact. See right here? It's still straight up and down. Exact. Another crescent. And finally, back to new moon. And the cycle begins again. All right, so that is how the moon phases work. Um, and you saw my pictures. That's not what we're seeing here. And I took the same pictures and I added some red lines to show you and basically we roughly have about 90 degrees of rotation clockwise because I'm in the northern hemisphere and that's still in a four hour time frame so that boils down to about 15 degrees an hour which is the exact same speed the earth rotates and why that's important you will find out here next This is a video I made that explains what has happened for the moon to be turning like a clock from our perception here on Earth. Now you gotta understand what I'm explaining is that it is not the moon turning, it is our perception of the moon turning. Okay. Earth, moon. Moon goes around. The equator, just like normal, hasn't changed. Earth still spinning. This way hasn't changed. We're getting about normal season tilt and all that. But what's happened is, is the Earth now does this, is now this. Our polar caps are all still the same magnetically. But this is why the moon is doing a clockwise spin from our perception now. Because we're still spinning the same way, but we tilt it over. So now as the moon goes through its normal 30-day cycle, we're seeing it 
from this perception. Actually, this way, and that's why the moon is turning clockwise 15 degrees. Now, you got to understand that in the northern hemisphere, you're going to see a clockwise rotation. And in the southern hemisphere, you're going to see a counterclockwise rotation. Now, in this next part, I'm going to show, explain to you how it is not the moon. It is us. In this part, I'm going to show you how it can't be the moon rolling and it can't be the shadow rolling. Made a little quick model. Uh, one thing you need to know that this is the terminator line. Uh, it separates the light side and the dark side of the moon. And that obviously changes as the phase of the moon changes. So, we are seeing the moon do this. The 15 degrees an hour. But, as some people may think, if the moon is rolling... What we'd see is the craters change, as I'm showing, but the terminator line would stay vertical. But that's just not what we're seeing. And we aren't seeing the, uh, the shadow roll and the craters stay the same. So I'm going to show you how you can't make a shadow roll either. I've got a little flashlight in my hand. I'm going to try and create the terminator line. I'm going to roll the ball. And as you can see, the, the terminator line or the shadow line stays vertical. I'm trying to get it for you guys here. There we go. So as you can see, you can't you can't make a shadow roll. It stays vertical no matter what. Alright. Alright, so back to my pictures here. Just go over it again. Northern Hemisphere will see a clockwise rotation. And the southern hemisphere, you'll see a counterclockwise rotation. Now, how you can track this when the moon is full, like it is right now, uh, some Japanese culture believes there's a rabbit on the moon. And what you can do is you can follow the two rabbit ears as it turns around like a clock. So... That's the video. I just got to want to go over a couple of things. Uh, if you'd like some more information, uh, basically this is the guy, Angry Catfish Briggs. His name is Eric Briggs. Uh, this is his Facebook profile. Uh, be aware of his avatar here or whatever this is called. Uh, there are other profiles that is not him, especially one that's all black. Uh, that's his troll. You don't want to join his profile. Okay. This is the guy that noticed it back in 2010 and has been trying to tell everyone about it. This is uh, a place I highly recommend you go into because he has been, this is his research research page and he has been going on about it for the last nine years. And he's also a glass blower, so that's what he does full time. But you can also, if you're into Facebook groups, you can come to my Facebook group called Catfish Glass Eye, where we talk about a lot of the events going on, and the moon rolling is something we cover as well. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can comment below. You can always join the group. You can always check out Eric Briggs and his YouTube page. Uh, but if you go to his page, you better have your A-game on because he's going to not allow any garbage around. So, alrighty folks, have a good day.